everyone! Welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. I was really disappointed with how that last recording ended up going. I mean, it started out fine, but it was supposed to be a two-parter, so... I decided I needed to look through what I already had on hand to see what I could open to make it up to you guys. And I remembered I got this at GameStop like a couple months back. This is the Silver Tempest Build and Battle Kit. Now these include basically everything you need to set up a deck for playing the card game. Including some booster packs and a promo card from the set. Now, rather than talk about it on and on, how about I just try to open this? Where did I cut those scissors? Okay, now the little box here can also double as a deck box if you really need it. And contains, if I can get it to open, ta da! We've got six packs of booster boosts for a silver tech. That's it. Normally, they contain a few boosters plus like a set of trainer and Pokemon cards. Hmm. Along with a promo, so obviously GameStop has been a bit different with these, but maybe it's just how they're doing these building battle kits now. Or maybe this is just something else entirely. It does say booster bundle, so. Yeah. But at least that's six packs we can open. And I don't know how lucky I'll be finding this set, so I'll go with it right now. But again, I thought it was going to be something else entirely. But again, we'll do with what we got. And I really tore that pack. <laughs> First, the code card for you guys. And again, if you guys can't see them really well, just let me know in the comments, okay? So I can edit the video later to include them as like a subtitle. So first we've got Fire Energy, Edene, Quadstone, that looks interesting. Morpico looking a little angry there with Edene and Togedemaru in the corners there. We got Whalemer with the sea Wingull flock. I was about to say seagull because that's what they look like. Mistrefus. Cute little Growlithe. We got a drowsy, drowsy. <laughs> we got a happy little Vulpix. Our reverse is Milotic, and that's a pretty one. And the rare? Okay! <laughs> I'm glad I got the sleeves this time because I did not expect to pull this, even though stuff like this usually have a pretty good pull rate. We have a full art Serena. Man, I definitely love the look of this card. <laughs> now, if you watch the original anime, then you'll remember for the Kalos season of the anime that this was Ash's partner throughout the journey. Basically, it's how she started out. <laughs> and it's basically, if you're playing as a girl, you're a player character. But seriously, first pack and this is what we get? <laughs> okay! <laughs> so definitely worth it, even without the extra cards. <laughs> Let's see if Vulpix gives us any more luck. Something popped up on my computer, probably from when I set down the full art. Hmm. Eh, this is what I get for having a touch screen, I suppose. Another code card for you guys. Hope you're doing good. We got Fighting Energy, 
Clang. Croc Rock. Anarith, that's a nice one. Halucha. Relicanth, I still don't have this in Pokemon Go. Sandy Gas, and when will that get released? Fungus. We got LGM. Verisian is our reverse. And then a Cobalion, regular rare. Hmm. Still disappointed it's a regular rare. Huh, maybe Lugia will make up for it. Normally I try and sort the pack art ahead of time, but I'm just a little too excited to open it. Because I have no clue what's in this set, really. Because I didn't get the Elite Trainer box for this, so I don't have a checklist. All I can do is look for one online if I'm interested. Hmm. Sunflora. Primordial Altar. Okay, that's a little interesting. We got a Ralph, and that's actually pretty. Durant, though, that one looks spooky. We got Metatite. Emolga. Murkrow. Looks more like it's playing gargoyles here. We got a Chinchow for the reverse. And then... A Verisian regular rare. Hmm. Well, we still have three packs to go, so moving on with Reggie Eleki. Yeah. At least I think that's how you say the name. There's still some Pokemon that I getting tongue-tied over. And if you happen to see right there, we might have something. Now, one, two, three, four. We got Unlisted Leaf, so there's another good sign. Matang. Toxapex. Lance. We got a Clink. Growlithe. You got Pikachu with the Denny and Toga de Mario again. Petril. Toga de Mario. Our reverse is Meow Sticks. And then a uh, Dragonite Hollow. <laughs> At least it's a pole. And Dragonite is definitely one of those Pokemon that still looks like a cutie in its final evolution. Okay, now Regidrago. This one I can at least say. Did I put all the poles to the back if you happen to see that? <laughs> well, maybe I did. But again, it could just be a hollow like the last pack. And this time it's Darkness Energy. Archen. We got a Clang. Claydol. That one looks a little more fierce. Togenamaru. Stunfisk. Not the glaring version either. There's Clink. Got cute little Dratini on the shore. We got a Fletchling. Our reverse is Altaria, and that's pretty gorgeous. And then... <laughs> okay, uh oh <laughs> You got re uh, a V-card. <laughs> 
It's just a basic V card, but that's still not too shabby. Especially with the artwork there. And again, I haven't opened too much from this set as of yet. Just a few random packs scattered between promo boxes, but I'd say that's still pretty good right there. And so far, that's about a 60% pull rate there. Now, will the sixth one give us anything else? What? Kisses for luck! Okay. Maybe yes, maybe no. Let's see if I can open this. And let's try and keep the code hidden so it's a surprise. Well, I meant the color. Then one, two, three, four. We've got water energy. Worker. Nice to see representation there. Sunflora. Primordial Altar is starting to be deja vu. Litten, though it looks a little freaked there. PMP. Sleepy Feebass. Tritini. Whalmer. Spinarak is the reverse. And what's our rare? Miss Mackie's regular rare. Okay, so it's more like a 50% pull rate for this box. But still, it didn't turn out too shabby, at least with what we did get. I mean, we got a Hollow Dragonite, first of all. Then we have our ho oh V card. Just a regular V card, but still pretty wicked looking. And then, our first pull of the entire thing was a Full Art Serena. So even with that, you could still end up with something pretty amazing. But like I said, this was a GameStop exclusive that I saw, so I can't guarantee if they still have it at your local GameStop or if the pull rates are going to be as good as what I got. So, at least it turned out pretty well for me. And if you want me to try and find more of this set, at least let me know in the comments, okay? Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and to like the video if you want. As always though, I'm your host Christina, signing off. See you next time!